Welcome back to Football Daily, where today we're taking a look back at the first team Pep Guardiola fielded in La Liga all the way back in 2008. Let's go. Goalkeeper Victor Valdez. Barcelona's number one from the age of 21. By the time Pep Guardiola took charge of the side in 2008, the Spanish stopper was already well experienced. However, he wasn't able to stop his side succumbing to an embarrassing loss to newly promoted Numancia in Guardiola's first league outing, a defeat which immediately piled pressure on the new coach, whose lack of top-level managerial experience had already drawn scrutiny from the Catalan press. But Valdez became a cornerstone of Pep's revolution at the Camp Nou, with his superb ability to play out from his box providing the foundation for the total football update that was installed at the turn of the 2010s. And he wasn't a bad shot stopper either, taking home the Zamora Trophy for a record four consecutive seasons seasons and conceding a goal every two games in 2010-11, the best average ever managed by a keeper in a Liga campaign. But Valdez's career didn't get the huge send-off it deserved. After leaving the Blaugrana in 2014, he was frozen out of the Man United squad by Louis van Gaal during an ill-fated spell, told Trafford. He retired in 2017 after getting relegated with Middlesbrough and two years later was hired as coach of Barcelona's under-19s, only to be sacked a few months later. In 2020, he was hired by Spanish fourth-tier side UA Horta. Defender Dani Alves Signed from Sevilla in July 2008, Dani Alves was one of Pep Guardiola's first recruits at the Camp Nou, and he was an instant hit, registering nine league assists in his first season Season and helping the club complete its first ever treble, despite suspension ruling him out of the Champions League final. The roaming right back would go on to make nearly 400 appearances for the Blaugrana, with his near telepathic understanding with Lionel Messi becoming a key theme in the side's ability to tear opponents apart week after week. He provided the Argentinian maestro with 43 assists in total, more than Xavi, Pedro and Fabregas. What's more, the Brazilian loved working under Guardiola so much that he later revealed in a documentary that his coaching was better than sex. Alves continued at the highest level after leaving in 2016, helping Juventus reach the Champions League final a year later before moving on to PSG, with Neymar and Mbappe following him to the Parc de France. And in 2019, he fulfilled his lifelong dream of playing for Sao Paulo, where he now regularly wears the captain's armband and is deployed as a playmaker. Defender Carles Puyol Wearing the armband for 10 years, Carles Puyol is the longest serving captain in Barcelona history and is also the most decorated, leading the club to six La Liga titles, two Copas del Rey and three Champions Leagues. Having made his debut while Guardiola was himself captain, Puyol was very much a veteran by 2008, but remained a key player during Pep's time in the dugout despite numerous injury setbacks, making 164 appearances across four seasons and being named in the UEFA for team of the year twice in that time. Known for his no-nonsense physical approach to defending, Puyol was also an excellent reader of the game, and while he wasn't as technically gifted as other La Masia graduates, made up for it with his hard work and leadership. As Gerard Piquet once said, even if you're winning 3-0 and there's a few seconds left in the game, he will shout at the top of his voice at you if he thinks your concentration is going. Retiring at 36, a one-club man, Puyol became the assistant of director of football Andoni Zubazareta, resigning less than a year later when the former goalkeeper was sacked. And in 2019, he turned down the chance to return to the club to instead focus on his various business ventures. Defender Rafael Marquez Lining up alongside Puyol was the similarly reliable Rafa Marquez, named the Kaiser of Michoacan, in reference to Franz Beckenbauer and the state of Mexico he was born in. Like the legendary German defender, Marquez was an exceptional passer, making him an ideal older head to have in the side when Guardiola came in. However, a nasty knee injury in the Champions League semi-final against Chelsea kept him out of the end of the campaign, a run which included the UCL and Copa del Rey finals as well as a famous 6-2 victory at the Bernabeu, in which Gerard Piquet closed the scoring. The young Spaniard took Marquez's place the following season and the Mexican made just seven league starts before joining New York Red Bulls on a free in 2010. Then 31, Marquez would enjoy another eight years as a player, eventually returning to boyhood club Atlas in 2015, and three years later became just the third footballer in history to participate in five World Cups. But his footballing career also ended on a sour note. In 2018, he was banned from entering the United States for Mexico's pre-tournament warm-up, after being named in connection with suspected drug trafficker Raul Flores Hernandez, allegations which he denied but nevertheless cast a shadow over his final season. He now coaches the youth team of Spanish fourth-tier outfit Alcala. Defender Eric Abadal Signed a year before Guardiola took over at Barcelona, Eric Abadal got off on the wrong foot with Pep, 
who implemented strict rules of players only being allowed to speak to each other in Spanish or Catalan on the training ground. The former Leon man didn't take kindly to being told off for speaking to Thierry Henry in French, an episode which ended in Abadal speaking to club president Joanne Laporta. But this turned out to be a minor incident, with the Frenchman becoming an integral part of Pep's side, racking up more league minutes than Andres Iniesta in 2008-9 despite facing two spells out with injury. However, while the Blaugrana achieved unprecedented success under Guardiola, Abadal faced a huge battle away from the field, undergoing surgery for a tumour in his liver in March 2011 and missing almost the entire 2012-13 season after requiring a liver transplant a year later. He was given a hero's farewell at the end of that campaign and hung up his boots 18 months later, returning to the club as sporting director in 2018. However, it was an ill-fated venture, with Abadal falling out with former teammate Leo Messi in February 2020 and getting sacked following the club's humiliating exit from the Champions League that summer. Midfielder Yaya Torre Used primarily as a defensive midfielder during his time at Barcelona, Yaya Torre is perhaps best remembered for filling in at centre-back in the 2009 Champions League final, holding a frighteningly strong Man United attack at bay with relative ease alongside a 22-year-old Gerard Piquet. But it would be after leaving the club a year later that the Ivorian international became a true star, breaking United hearts once again by firing Manchester City to FA Cup glory in 2011 before helping the citizens win their first Premier League titles. Guardiola and Torre would link back up when the Catalan was hired by City in 2016, and despite concerns over the pair's relationship, he made 25 league appearances in Pep's first campaign at the Etihad, even extending his contract at the end of the season. But it wasn't enough to mend the cracks that existed between the two. Having originally accused Guardiola of pushing him out of Barcelona, something the manager strongly refuted, Yaya Torre claimed in 2018 that the former Bayern coach had a problem with African footballers and was a manipulative figure in the dressing room. After a short stint in the Chinese Super League, Torre has been without a club since the end of 2019, although he is yet to make any official announcement of his plans to retire. Midfielder Xavi Another academy graduate who played alongside Guardiola when he captained Barca, Xavi was perhaps the quintessential pep player. Lacking in physical attributes but almost impossible to get off the ball, the legendary midfielder was the metronome through which all of the side's attacking play went through, setting a new record for passes completed in a single game with 178 against Celtic in October 2012, and famously completing all 96 of his passes against PSG in the Champions League quarterfinals the same season. But perhaps his defining performance came in that 6-2 win over Real Madrid in 2009. He totally dominated the middle of the park, passing and pressing Lasana Diaro and Fernando Gago off the pitch and assisting four of the side's goals. This took his tally to 20 for the season, a record only beaten by Lionel Messi in 2020, and a feat that announced himself as the world's most accomplished midfielder at the time. Xavi eventually left Barca at 35 after captaining the side to its second treble in 2015, averaging an assist every two games in his final campaign with the club. After spending four seasons with Al Saad, he now manages the Qatari outfit and is hotly tipped to take a seat in the Camp Nou dugout in the future. Midfielder Andres Iniesta In early 2020, Andres Iniesta confirmed rumours that he had spoken to Pep Guardiola after the disappointing defeat to Numancia in 2008, helping convince him that despite the intense pressure from the media and fans, that staying true to his philosophy and not changing his tactics was the best thing to do. And Iniesta was one of the greatest recipients of Pep's methods. Under him, the Spaniard went from a trusted if underappreciated midfield operator to a genuine superstar. Despite not being much of a goal scorer, he had a knack for popping up when it mattered most, netting the stoppage time screamer that put Barca through to the Champions League final in 2009 and scoring the goal that won Spain the World Cup a year later. Consistently superb, his ability to ghost past players, excel in different roles and influence the game more than anyone on the field without having to score or assist earned him the nickname El Illusionista, the Illusionist. Iniesta left the camp now in 2018, a nine-time La Liga champion, and has since added to his brimming trophy cabinet in Japan with Vissel Kobe, winning the Emperor's Cup in 2020. The midfielder has no plans to retire just yet, but has hinted he'd like to return to Barca in the future. Forward Lionel Messi While Pep's Barcelona were famed for working tirelessly as a unit, there was still space for individual pieces of magic, and Lionel Messi was capable of producing them at will, as he still is. Under Guardiola, the Argentinian forward evolved from the most exciting young player in world football to one of the greatest of all time, contributing to a goal every 59 minutes across his four years working under Pep, including an incredible 50 goals and 16 assists in 37 league games in 2011-12. Guardiola loved Messi, perhaps more than any other player, and prioritised him accordingly, famously favouring him over Zlatan Ibrahimovic in 2009-10, to the point that he fell out with the larger-than-life Swede, after the Mazio graduate expressed concerns that he was 
was no longer number one in Catalonia. Messi's dominance at the camp now only grew after Guardiola left, with the decline of other areas of the side making him increasingly relied upon over the years. And as this goes out, his future has never looked more uncertain. Having come closer than ever to leaving the club in the summer of 2020, Messi is yet to sign a new contract at the time of recording, and if he does end his 20-year association with the Blaugrana, a romantic reunion with Pep in England seems the most viable outcome. Forward, Samuel Eto'o. Samuel Eto'o had already written his legend at the camp now by the time Guardiola took over, scoring almost 100 goals across the previous four seasons, winning two La Liga titles and the Champions League under Frank Rijkaard, and forming a near-telepathic on-field connection with Ronaldinho. But Pep nevertheless got the very best out of the Cameroonian striker, and he ended the 2008-9 campaign with 36 goals, his highest tally in a Blaugrana jersey. Eto would be swapped out at the end of the season for the less successful Ibrahimovic and showed Guardiola his error by helping Inter Milan overcome Barca on their way to Champions League glory in 2010. He remains the only player in history to win consecutive trebles with two different teams, continued his prolific scoring form in Russia, England, Turkey and Qatar, eventually hanging up his boots in 2019. Forward Thierry Henry At 31 years of age, Thierry Henry was the oldest player to line up in Guardiola's first La Liga outing, and having already consolidated himself, as an all-time great at Arsenal had nothing left to prove. He was, however, missing a Champions League winner's medal, with the Gunners narrowly missing out to Barca in the 2006 final, a match in which the Frenchman was continually denied by the goalkeeping heroics of Victor Valdez. Under Pep, he got his wish, forming a deadly strike force with Eto'o and Messi, which produced 100 goals in the treble-winning season. And even for a player as accomplished as Henri, the Catalan coach had wisdom to impart, with the striker later claiming that he relearned how to play the game under Pep. Henri left the club in 2010, winding down his playing career at New York Red Bulls, and has since embarked on a venture into management, currently trying to revive his credentials at Montreal Impact following a disastrous spell in charge of Monaco. So that was Pep Guardiola's first ever XI, but have you got any ideas for ones we can do in the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like, and why not click on screen right now for more Football Daily greatness. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.